In this video, I'm going to share the most efficient ways to grind glitter in Bee Swarm Simulator. Let's dive right in. Glitter is one of the most important items in the game. You need it for crafting essential materials like the diamond mask, and it's crucial for boosting to achieve a 4x field multiplier. Keep watching until the end of the video to learn the best ways to farm glitter. The first method I'll discuss is using sprouts. Planting sprouts in a field can yield glitter if you're lucky. Epic, legendary, mythic, and gummy sprouts have the highest probability of dropping glitter. Additionally, during nighttime, night sprouts can spawn, dropping moon charms that can be used to craft more glitter. This method earns an A-tier ranking due to its accessibility and low cost. Next on the list is memory matches. These brain teasers offer a chance to obtain glitter if you're lucky. The memory match in the 30B zone has the highest probability of dropping glitter. This area is only accessible at night, either by using a night bell or by waiting for nighttime on your server. This method will be going in the C tier due to lengthy respawn times and rare drops. The third method I will discuss is defeating the Windy Bee. The Windy Bee can be spawned either by donating to the Wind Shrine or by appearing naturally on the map. If you are lucky enough, you can get multiple glitter per kill. It is a great way to farm glitter because you can defeat it multiple times throughout the day. Windy Bee earns a S tier due to its easy accessibility and great reliability. The fourth method involves killing the Tunnel Bear and King Beetle. These bosses are excellent sources of glitter as they almost always drop it upon defeat. The Tunnel Bear respawns every two days while the King Beetle respawns daily, making them reliable sources of glitter. Although very reliable, these bosses will go into the B tier due to lengthy respawn times. The fifth method is killing mobs. Werewolves, mantises, and scorpions have the best chance of dropping glitter. Since you can defeat these mobs multiple times throughout the day, they serve as a reliable source of glitter. Killing mobs will go into the B tier due to the rarity of them dropping glitter upon defeat. The sixth method I'll discuss in this video is Puff Shrooms. Puff Shrooms can either spawn naturally around the map at point 15 or 45 of an hour, or be spawned by a smoking planter. Puff Shrooms are a great method to grind glitter, especially with a good team and many smoking planters. This method earns an A tier ranking due to its great reliability though it can't be placed in the S tier because of loot degradation. The final method is using planters. Planters grant many materials upon harvesting, and one of them is glitter. The petal planter is particularly effective for grinding glitter. You can either AFK near planters to make them grow faster or let them grow on their own. Both methods will help you increase your glitter supply Although planters have lengthy growth times, they earn a spot in A tier for great reliability. In conclusion, using sprouts will be placed in the A tier, defeating Windy Bee will be placed in the S tier, memory matches will be placed in the C tier, planters will be placed in the A tier, killing the werewolf, scorpions, and mantises will be placed in the B tier, defeating King Beetle, and Tunnel Bear will also be placed in the B tier and doing Puff Shrooms will be placed in the A tier. By combining these methods, you can efficiently grind for glitter in Bee Swarm Simulator. Happy farming Bee Swarmers!